teams lately, but even tonight, they're 7 of 12 from the line. Steinemeyer goes 1 of 2. It's back to 8. Opening minutes here in the third. Again, this is a very important game for the Atlantic Division because the winner of the Atlantic Division is guaranteed a top four seed in the Eastern Conference. They don't have to play Miami or Chicago in the first round. Turner lost it. Hawes picks it up. Turner line drive. That won't go. Ball knocked away by Brand. Nice. Iguodala inside to Turner. Misses the jam. And then Chandler gets knocked down. Now, they've been letting them play, but they might have to tighten it up a little bit. Both sides really crashing into each other. What, what are we doing, a high school game oh. here or what? <laughs> this, this is pro basketball. Come on, Mike. Now, you can see that was an excellent, strong move to the basket. No doubt about it. Big thing right now for Doug. You have to be careful. Paws is out there playing with three fouls, and then he just got that one to give him four. Are you saying I was a soft player? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Stoudemire against Brand. Brand has three fouls. Stoudemire spinning. Puts it up. Bank shot won't go. Hawes the rebound. Rebounding numbers plus five in Philadelphia's favor. Eagle Dalla. Yeah, a little triangle offense that time. Holiday gets it inside the Brand. Chandler right there on him. Shot clock winding down. Graham's going to have to put it up, kicks it out, Turner. Turner just gets it off in time, and that won't go. Hawes tips it, ball still loose, goes out of bounds, and it's going to be Philadelphia ball. Uh, new 24. We've got our NBA national television big board Thursday. Big game between the Celtics and Bucks in terms of the Eastern Conference final spots. Friday on ESPN, another one. Celtics and Sixers here in Philly, Denver and Utah. Uh, next Thursday on TNT, Dallas and Miami, Oklahoma City, and the Lakers. Lakers-Dallas, the second game of our doubleheader tonight on ESPN. Now Thaddeus Young is in there, and they have taken Hawes out of the game. Turner, nice little fake. Tried to draw a foul, deflected. Holiday resets. Chandler coming to help. Ball knocked to the ground. Young picks it up, throws it up in the basket, in and out. And Jeremy Linton the rebound. Oh, well, you got an advantage here. Four on three. Anthony pulls up for three. Won't go. I'm surprised that he didn't hit Stoudemire coming right down the middle of the floor. Turner. Turner makes it a six-point game. Uh, that's Turner's first field goal. He was 0 for 6. Well, at the beginning there, when you think about it, they were 2 for 11. Turner and Holiday. And that had to improve. And especially now, Turner's starting to open up at the top of the circle. Anthony looking to post up Iguodala. Here comes the help. Fields to Lynn. Lynn for three. Oh. Off the mark. Not even close. And the Sixers get it back, trailing by six. Lynn now one for ten from the field. Now, this is the fifth time I've done the Knicks. It's the first time I've seen him miss this many shots because he's not on the front of the rim. He's on both sides of the rim tonight. Well, during the four-game winning streak, he was shooting about 52%. Had become very efficient. Uh, not the case tonight. I do believe I saw Kobe Bryant the other night, three for 20. <laughs> okay, so if he can go three for 20, Lynn can go one for nine in the first half here. Knicks have led the entire game by as many as 12. For the Sixers have fought back time and time again as Holiday makes it a three-point game. Now, Holiday is another high percentage guy. Philadelphia has four guys who shoot 37, 38% in threes. Turner. Too yeah. much dribbling here. Lynn looking, gets inside, and pass deflected out of bounds. Nope, they're going to call a foul. And Holiday that time called for the personal. Mike, they're going very strong at Lynn. Anytime Lynn turns the corner, on a pick and roll, and if he's ahead of his man, they run a big man at him, and they attack him. They rough him up, they go for the steal, or, hey, earlier, we thought a couple of times maybe he should have been called for a foul, opportunity to score. Instead, they allowed the deflections to happen. My mistake, you they call the foul on Turner, his second, so Holiday still has one. He's got one foul, and he's been aggressively playing them all game long. Stoudemire counted, and a foul. Strong game for Stoudemire. He's got 
Now 16, and the Knicks back up by five. Stoudemire has been open in this area right here all night long. In the foul line, right at, in front of the rim, and then either to the right side or the left side. That has been there, and he's comfortable tonight because he feels he can beat Thaddeus Young or Elton Brand, whoever is on. Stoudemire leading all scores with 17 in a low-scoring game. We play five minutes here in the third. Knicks trying to win their fifth in a row. They're giving you a little UCLA action of a 1-3-1. One, one. Iguodala, nice. nice pass to Holiday. Shot blocked, but a foul. J.R. Smith a whistle for it. We're seeing some nice running without the ball at both ends of the floor. Anytime that guys are out on the wing and they're getting double teamed off the dribble, look to the left of your screen. You're going to see the cutter coming right down into the middle of the paint. That's been going on at both ends. Now we talked about Lynn being a two guard in college. Drew Holiday is still learning the point. In many ways, he's sure. a combo guard. Well, a lot of these fellows coming from the college level play that way. And when they all of a sudden they get here, 35 second clock in college, only 24 here. Also, the guys that are double teaming you are very big with long arms and exceptional quickness, as much quickness as you have. And then the double teams are strong here. Chandler, shot clock at five. Anthony, here comes the double team. Anthony, difficult shot, won't go. Rebound tipped, taken by Lynn. Lynn now pulls up. That one off the mark. Anthony's tip won't go. Chandler has it. Chandler trying to go up strong. Has it blocked. Chandler gets it back again. And it's still Nick Ball with 19 to shoot as Brand has his fourth rejection of the game. Yeah, come on. Give Chandler a lot of credit here. He, he's in here banging around. And then Elton Brand has been terrific. He had three shot blocks at halftime. And this is his fourth shot block right now. I like Elton Brand. He's playing big here tonight. Not only with the points. But at the defensive boards, he had eight boards at halftime, along with three blocks. Mike Woodson was yelling at the officials after that. He wanted a foul. And as we said, this is the second game of our doubleheader from Dallas Mavericks and the Lakers here on a busy Wednesday night in the NBA. I've been driving this funny car for over 30 years. I've been on fire from here to Australia. I've won hundreds of races and I've won 15 championships. I'm 61 years old, but let me tell you, I never stopped believing. So if you wanna help extend your car's career like I've extended mine, the family of Castrol GTX Motor Oils can help. Find the one that's right for your car at CastrolGTX.com. It's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. It's the LensCrafters semi-annual lens event. That's 50% off lenses, including bifocals, no lines, even sunglasses made with your prescription. So hurry in. Sale ends April 1st. LensCrafters. And we have a late entry, Mr. Quigley. Is he wearing running shoes? And they're off. It's Queen Tarakeen out front. But wait, it's going to be Quigley! What? I'm going to do it like this. The new lightweight midfoot strike sketchers go run. True, no one knows what the future holds, but from where we sit... Here, Mike, like you said, not only with the points, getting to the foul line, and then also playing and shooting a high percentage. Shot clock down to five. J.R. Smith trying to create, flips it up, shot in and out, won't go. And a loose ball foul is going to go against Carmelo Anthony. The Knicks now one of ten from the field here in the third quarter. Uh, it's been at both ends of the floor. Knicks one for ten, Philly three for nine. Now, for Philly to get this job done here, Spencer Hawes, who has four fouls, is 0 for 6. Evan Turner is 1 for 7. Two key scores that they rely on are 1 for 13. They've got to pick up here because they need their scoring. The beauty of Philadelphia this year is that you just don't know on a given night who's going to explode. Drew Holiday's been the leading scorer last couple of games. The consistent guys have been the guys off the bench, Lou Williams and Thaddeus Young. Big thing, Mike, is that when guys are like that, you look at it and you say, are they getting good looks or are they forcing the shot? They're getting good looks. Stoudemire may have gotten a piece of that one as Brand comes up short. 
four-point game, five and a half to play here in the third. Aaron Davis back in. Davis, the former All-Star, has it poked away. Nice pass. Ball knocked loose on throws and ahead to Young and Philadelphia back within two. Iguodala, that was a great play. A defensive hustle and then the ability to look up the floor and get the ball out the half court. The key for Philly here in this third quarter after 10 turnovers in the first half. They haven't turned it over yet in the period. And Smith's jump shot won't go. And Philly's got to keep pushing. They need as many easy transition baskets as possible. Iguodala for three. Puts it in. And the Sixers have their first lead of the night. Let's keep pushing. They're getting good looks. But most of all, now they're taking advantage of the four on three and five on four. And the Sixer crowd fired up. Moving out, yelled by Nick fans a lot tonight. Stoudemire pushes off, offensive foul. Good call. And that's his third. Good call. Definitely Stoudemire with a push off. Keep an eye right here. This is just a great move. And Iguodala, no hesitation at all. Well, Yubi, this is a Nick team as Iguodala Knocks down the three. During this four-game winning streak, they're averaging 110 a game. They've been scoring at will. They've got 48 points now with four and a half to go in the third. Well, great played, defense. Play two sub-500 teams. You got Indiana, who has been struggling now since the All-Star break. So consequently, they have four games where you're not, they weren't seeing this kind of defense. And three of the four at home. Iguodala pulls up. Back of the room won't go. Look at Brand go for another offensive rebound. Iguodala. Oh, good. And Smith draws the foul. Elton Brand is like he's re-energized here tonight. Going back to the Chicago days in the Clippers. Because his rebounding has just been outstanding. And then also the fact that in he's finding people on the cutters when they're open in the painted area. Brand the double-double. Iguodala able to hit. Remember going back and Philadelphia opened up the game. 0 for 14. Doug Collins said just relax, take it easy. Keep taking your shots. And look here, they've got a two-point lead. Doug, I mean, you always have to be positive when you have a young basketball team. And then the fact that you're being anchored by Elton Brand tonight, the old veteran guy, that the other guys can just take their pace now and pick their spots and hope that they can, once they get the lead, keep the lead. Brand yelling out defensive instructions. Shot clock down to five, but it's still 30 feet from the basket. Davis on the pull-up. Nice. Gets it back. That shot won't go. Jared Jeffries right there for the follow. Look, if you're going to play a matchup zone, or you're going to play where it looks like a 1-3-1 one, one because of the way you're maneuvering your defenders, well, when that shot goes up, no one can start on the break. you got to get back in there and rebound that ball. Lou Williams, Thaddeus Young, Elton Brandt, Drew Holiday, and Andre Iguodala out there for Philly. Holiday on the pull-up shot. That's short. Rebound Chandler, his seventh. Bad pass. Davis able to come up. Ball knocked out of bounds. And it's still Nick Ball. Jimmy Capers made that call from the baseline. Mainly because the trail referee did not have a good look at that. Davis looking. Tough shot from Davis. Knocks it down. He's looking tonight, Mike. He's looking to score. Every time that he's got pick and roll, inside of that circle he's looking to shoot the jumper and he gives an X back the lead with just under three left here in the third chance of defense you can hear from the Nick fans J.R. Smith pokes it away Iguodala gets it back Holiday spots up for three there it is. big three pointers here in the third quarter for Philly they're back up by one Iguodala's passing his vision in this game has been terrific Holiday with eight of his 12. Alley up to Chandler. Davis back to back. Nice plays for the Knicks. Now that was good eye contact. When Barron started down on the left side of the lane, you could see Chandler moving, looking for the lob. Knicks have only scored 11 points here in this third period. 
Sixers had 11 in the first off the turnover. Shepard 